Investing is absolutely the key to success if you're a female who wants to have um, a bright financial future. And money and, and equality for women, I think, should go hand in hand. So there is a price to pay if women are indifferent. My name is Paula Polito, and I'm Vice Chairwoman for UBS Global Wealth Management. I didn't start out as uh, getting into finance. I never dreamed, frankly, I would work uh, in, in the industry. I started out as a journalist, and I found myself working uh, for my first job at Fidelity Investments almost 30 years ago. And then I worked my way up into uh, my role now. So it's been quite a long journey. Own Your Worth started out as something that we wanted to investigate as to why more women were not taking control of their finances and their money. We found that almost 50% of women that are high net worth investors defer or abdicate their responsibility to their spouse. Why do they do that? They say that they do it because they emulate their mothers, but also that they're busy with their children, with their careers. They say that they like to be taken care of by their spouse. I have seen this time and time again, where women who don't have a seat at the table wind up in some difficult situations. And so looking at the reasons why can help, I think, bridge the gap at some point about what to do about it. Women in some way, shape or form really need to be engaged in their financial well-being. Many women underestimate their abilities and they overestimate what's required of them when it comes to uh, their financial well-being. Seven in 10 men take the lead in terms of um, long-term financial investing. So I would like to see that number change. It has been difficult sometimes to break into the man's world, if you will, in, uh, in financial services. So I used golf as a way to engender myself into um, the boys club, if you will. And it was probably one of the best things I've ever done because when many of the guys would go off at the end of the day and play nine holes, I wasn't left behind um, working at the desk. I played with my boss, I played with my colleagues. There's a lot of conversations that went on on the golf course that wouldn't happen in an office environment, but it also has allowed me to make wonderful friends and deepen relationships. And it's also fun to have a, have a beer afterwards too and kind of talk about the game. Really think about what the word financial advice really means. Everybody's very different. So balancing and understanding what financial advice really encompasses, it's not just the markets, it's not just products, but it's also really getting to know somebody as a human and being able to use products and services for their benefit. I'm probably most proud of achieving success for others. I've always thought about how um, it's important for others, other women, to be successful. And I always thought that if I could bring others along on the journey and having them feel good about what they can do, their capabilities, growing them, inspiring them, giving them the confidence, that that to me is probably the most rewarding thing I could say that I could achieve.